uh, Martin Vasquez, retired United States Marine Corps. Um, my age is uh, 88 years old. Mm -hmm. And when when is your birthday and where were you born? Uh, my birthday is uh, 12 November 1927. I was born in Santa Paula, California, uh, Ventura County. Mm -hmm. And br briefly, what is your family history? Uh, my Both of my parents, my father and my mother, came to this country from Mexico in, in the year 1910. And my mother, that's my father came in 1910, my mother came like in 1915, 1920. Wow. Like that. And you mentioned, so you were a part of the Marine Corps. Were you enlisted or drafted? I was enlisted. I enlisted in the Marine Corps. Okay. And where and when was it that you enlisted? In, in uh, November the 12th in uh, California. Hmm. Do you know about how old were you? Uh, I had just turned 18 years old. Okay. Wow. And right before you enlisted, where? Uh, what were you doing? Were you in school? I uh, I was a uh, I was in school, but at the same time I uh, uh, had uh, a job in in the town of Santa Paula. Um, that, that was in 1944-45. My school education was uh, uh, just uh, up to the eighth grade. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, when did you arrive in California? Uh, sorry, Korea now? In Korea? Yeah. In May of 1951. Okay, 1951. So I know the war started in 50. Yes. So you arrived a little after. June, June the 25th it right. started in, in uh, 50, and it ended in July the 27th, 1953. Right, right. And do you, where did you arrive first? In Busan. Korea? Busan. Uh -huh. Okay. And where were you stationed? There. Was it you were I, stationed I was, in Busan? Uh, I joined the Third uh, uh, Battalion, Fifth Marine Regiment, mm. First Marine Division. Okay. First Marine Division. And is that the group that you're a president of right now? The um, association. Yes. I'm First Marine Division Association, Southern California chapter. Yes, uh, yes. Wow. And so that is the military unit, right? Third mm -hmm. Battalion? Yes. Okay. And what was your rank? Uh, when I retired or uh, that time in Korea? Maybe that time and then also when you retired? Okay. In Korea, yeah. I was a sergeant. Okay. And then when you retired? Sergeant Major. Okay. Thank you. All right. So now let's talk about your background of being in the military. Um, what kind of basic training did you receive and where was it held? I went to recruit training in uh, San Diego, mm -hmm. Marine Corps Recruit Depot. From uh, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, I came to Camp Pendleton. Mm -hmm. And uh, after... Uh, Camp Pendleton. I was in, in the Philippines during after World War Two, mm -hmm. uh, and, and then I came back to the United States. And, and in 1951, I went to to Korea with Third Battalion, mm -hmm. 5th Marines. Okay. And um, in Korea, what battles did you participate in? Uh, participated in f four battles. Uh, the original one I started with in uh, May or June of 1951 mm -hmm. was the Punchbowl area. Mm -hmm. And uh, between that battle and we went all the way up to North Korea when, when I was there. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, used, they called it the Eastern Front. 
Okay. Then in 1952, the division and the regiment I was with moved to the Western Front, mm -hmm. which is on the on the Seoul site from from Seoul. Mm -hmm. What kind of specialty did you have? I was an infantryman. Okay. Yeah. And. Okay. So what was it like when you, oh, well, maybe before that, did you know about Korea at all before going? Uh, didn't know yeah. where Korea was at. Yeah. Um, then how did you, how were you feeling and what was it like when you got there? Can you tell me like visual, you know, what did you see? Well, uh, <clears throat> when uh, we landed there in Pusan, uh, there was nothing. We were just the people in tents there. Yeah, and uh, uh, living in tents, uh, Marines that I went with, and then from there we went all the way up to uh, Yanggu County, which is where the punch bowl's at, and uh, we stayed up in the, in the hills all the time. Never went through any big cities or nothing like that. We went straight to a combat area and uh, yeah, uh, until we moved from uh, the Eastern Front to the Western Front, we were in right through Seoul. That was in March of 52. And the, 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 the town itself of, uh, of uh, uh, Seoul was completely destructed. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, they, uh, it was all bombarded and whatever North Korea did to it. Uh, right. Can you tell me about the places where you were stationed? What was the living condition like? Well, the living condition, all we did is just uh, be out in Foxhall, live in Foxhall, in bunkers, and there were no cities that uh, we went through, to, in other words, to fight with. There no, the only city that I saw during that period of time is on my way back to the States. We stopped at um, Incheon, and we loaded on a uh, ship and back to the States. Mm -hmm. And when you were there, did you um, also get to experience the Korean society, can you say? Did you meet any Korean uh, civilians? No, I did not. The only Korean uh, uh, were the interpreters that we have, Korean interpreters. Uh, did they do a good job? Yes, yes, because they're the ones that would tell us what was, they've been there, that's their country, you know, right. and, and, uh, and some of them uh, would stay with us for a period of maybe three months, then other uh, Koreans, uh, interpreters would come in and, 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 and join us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Did you ever get to kind of tour the country as well? No, not that time. No time for I that. I toured it later on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you mean, did you go back? Yes, to, I have. Oh, okay. Yes. Tell me about that later. Okay. And, yeah, you just mentioned that there were interpreters. You're right. Um, any other Korean soldiers that you interacted with? How was your relationship with the Korean soldiers? Yeah, well, we fought with uh, Korean Marines, not Korean soldiers. See, there's, there's two, uh, there's a KMC... And the ROK, Korean Marine Corps, which were our, our friends next to each other. Um, and then there's the ROK, which is Rock Marines. Right. And they, they're part of, that's their army. And then the KMCs are the Marine Corps, uh, our counterparts. Mm -hmm. and, and at that time, we had a whole division in Korea fighting against the North Koreans with the South Korean KMCs, Korean Marine Corps. Oh, I see. Do you remember any of their maybe names, like specific people? Uh, I, I, I can remember one of them, uh, Sean, Sean, C H O. And G, I think he's, but the only one I can remember. The rest of them, I I, I never did talk to them. But but this one particular mm. uh, uh, 
Korean, uh, South Korea. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, like I mentioned before, our goal is to try to collect as many of the Korean War stories as possible from the <laughs> veterans who are actually there. So there have been, you know, some movies and a lot of books uh, yeah, published yeah. about the Korean War. Yes. And But anything that you feel is from your personal experience that you feel haven't been told yet. So please feel free to um, share any of the stories from the war with us now. Uh, it can be about any of the battles, any interactions you had with the people there. Um, anything like that that you want to share? Please. Okay, during during the war, like I mentioned before, <clears throat> we we never had a chance to be with the the people of South Korea. We were just there fighting with them. And as far as the uh, period of time that I was in, in Korea, nineteen fifty one to fifty two. Um, uh, not until realized later on in the years when I've been I've been to Korea to visit Korea now, and it's a lot different, a lot, a lot different. Um, uh, but other than that, that's all I can remember is that uh, we were in there to do a job, just to fight and try to um, uh, help the people of South Korea. Uh, because they were really, uh, when the Korean War started, they were pushed down all the way to Pusan, you know? And then when the Army, the United States Army was there, a month after the war started, the Marine Corps went in, and one brigade, and pushed the North Koreans with the, us, uh, South Korean Army and United States Army uh, uh, pushed the North Koreans all the way up to the Yellow River, which divides North Korea and South Korea. But at one point in, in time, uh, the uh, President of the United States then, I think it was President Truman, wanted us to move back to Seoul and established the demilitarized zone, and and that's where where we finally ended up to to the demilitarized zone. Mm -hmm. Any uh, specific anecdotes from battles like the Punch Bowl or any of the other battles that you fought in? Any specific uh, like incidences? Yes. Well, the Eastern Front was where the Punch Bowl was at, and. We they uh, we call the the main uh, battle was the punch bowl, and then the other battle was the eastern front battle, mm -hmm. and then uh, in 1952, the whole division, first marine division, moved back to um, the east the western front, and we were there uh, mostly on patrols, and they named different battles between uh, uh, Seoul and the DMZ, where, where the DMZ was established. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have any wounds from the war? Were you hurt anywhere? Not in Korea. Not okay, Korea. okay. Not Korea. From other wars? Yes, from oh. Vietnam era. Oh, I see. Okay. And any uh, friends, colleagues from the Korean War that you remember? Oh, yes. Um, but most of them are gone. Mm -hmm. Most of them are gone. Yeah. Can and, you tell me some stories with the colleagues or your friends, even uh, those that passed? I, I, I had uh, several that were from uh, the, the Santa Barbara, up in Santa Maria, California. Uh, uh, one lives in uh, Tucson, uh in Tucson, Arizona now. Uh, we, we keep in touch uh, one another. And the other one used to live in Las Vegas, but he passed away about two years ago. Mm. Uh, same age as, as I am. Mm -hmm. uh, and we used, we didn't see each other till 
maybe um, 30 years or 40 years after the Korean wow. War. Wow. Yeah. How was it when you finally met? Yeah, and, wow. and, and it was funny that they, uh, they start checking uh, with uh, my hometown if, if anybody knew where I was at because I made a career out of it. I, I stayed for 30 years. They were only there for uh, three or four years, and, and then they got out, you know, they uh, discharged. And um, once I, I got their, they got my phone number, they called me here, and, mm -hmm. and first time ever, we went to uh, uh, met in Las Vegas where that other friend that passed away lived there. And, uh, and uh, uh, I still get in touch with my other friend that lives in uh, uh, Phoenix, Tucson, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Did you receive any uh, honors, awards, or medals from the Korean War? Just the from the Korean War, we, we received the um, president uh, presidential unit citation from the Korean government, mm -hmm. and we present we got uh, the um, United States presidential unit citation from the United States mm -hmm. from the president. And then we had that, what they call the Korean War um, uh, um, Korean War ribbon with uh, four battle stars. Wow. Wow. And so, when did you leave Korea? Now, when were you discharged? I uh, I didn't say I oh, right. retired. Not... I retired. I left Korea in uh, in May of fifty two. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I don't really know um, why a tr why um, like a unit would pull out of Korea or stay, you know. So why did you leave in May fifty two? Well, uh, that uh, that time they they had what they call a tour of duty in Korea um, they had uh, every 12 months <clears throat> if you had 12 months in Korea they send you home and they send somebody to replace you back we had a replacement draft they call it and I forget how many you replaced until 1953 when the war ended uh, they still were sending Marines there mm -hmm. and sending the Marines that were there in 52 and part of 53 back to the state for one year. They, they sent them for Some didn't stay that long. Some stayed, uh, they were wounded. Uh, they sent them to a hospital and then they sent them home. Yeah. And what did you do when you came back to the States? Uh, I came back, I was stationed in... Uh, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego. Okay. From Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, I went to uh, Treasure Island mm -hmm. up in San Francisco. Marine Barracks at Treasure Island, they call it Security Forces. Mm -hmm. And um, from there I came back to Camp Pendleton here. And I stayed uh, here f till 1957. Then I went to Japan in 1957 and 58. That's where the first, the third Marine Division was at. I went with the third Marine Division then and spent uh, 14 months there. And then came back uh, from uh, from Japan to North Carolina to the Second Marine Division, and spent three four years there, between there and Paris Island, South Carolina, and left there again. Went back to uh, Okinawa to the Third Marine Division again, and I spent. Uh, 14 months there, 
and then came back here to Camp Pendleton, and I spent uh, two years here at Camp Pendleton, um, and then the Korean, I mean, the Vietnam War started in, in uh, 65, um, five months after I got back from uh, uh, Okinawa, I had to go back to uh, to Vietnam. That's when the war started in in in, uh, in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And when did you retire? I retired in uh, 1975. No, October of 1975. I see. Hmm. I see. Um, before I ask you about your visit back to Korea yes. and see how Korea looks like now, anything else from the war uh, that you want to share? You also mentioned that you, your children, you never really told them about your experience in the Korean yeah, War. Yeah. So anything else that you want to say, because um, I could share this sure. video with them later. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, well, <clears throat> when I went back to Korea, a visit Korea, um, with this organization, Marine House USA, uh, that's in uh, in Los Angeles, um, it was it was a a, a uh, eye opener for me because when I went, we landed in in Incheon, where originally the Marine Corps made a big landing there in in. In 1950, in September 1950, and I hadn't hadn't been there since then. the The city of uh, Seoul, I couldn't believe it. Um, they they had buildings there even much bigger than uh, here in the United States. Uh, when um, I was there in '51, they had one bridge crossing the um, uh, Han River. They had one bridge crossing the, uh, I can't think of the other big river there. Now they have something like a 30 brand new bridges, beautiful. All the, I visited the uh, Marine Corps, uh, Korean Marine Corps, Commandant of the Korean Marine Corps, and um, they welcome uh, welcome us with open arms, saying thank you for what you did for my country, and gave us a big banquet and uh, showed us uh, uh, monuments of what they have done for uh, for us over there, and you could see names of people that you serve with on those uh, on those big monuments that they have there, mm -hmm. right out of Seoul, Korea. And what year was this? When did you visit Korea? I, I visited Korea, I visited Korea twice. Oh. I visited Korea in uh, 2008, 2000, Ten, and and this year, two thousand fifteen. That's right. Oh, e, yes. So three e, times. E, three times. A e, e reason for that is, e, is I was just going to go one time, but I was uh, the helper for the um, uh, Korean uh, uh, chairman of the uh, Marine House USA. He needed someone that knew the area already the way it is now to take seven other retired or, or formal Korean War veterans. Right. And, I, wow. and I, I did that. I took uh, uh, under his direction, you know. And, right. uh, and it, was, it was very impressive because we went through... Uh, from where we first landed in in uh, in Pusan in August of 1950, 
and then went through all the battles that the 1st Marine Division fought in, in a little town like um, Tegu, uh, 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 I forget the other names, uh -huh. but because I wasn't, uh, I wasn't in those areas at that time, uh, but uh, uh, Pusan and Tegu come into mind because we had to go through there when we went all the way up to uh, uh, North Korea. Mm, I see. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool that you've been there three times. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel that it's also the, the economy and it became a Korea meaning democratic society? That, so that what, yeah. what I've seen in Korea, it's amazing. Some people probably will never understand uh, Korea itself, what they have now, they've done it all by themselves. They have built themselves into be probably nine or ten in the economy side, that the number nine or number ten. Yeah. Also, they're number one in steel making. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania used to be the big steel mine. Korea is that number one now. Korea is also the largest builds, ship builders in the world now. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. And look at all the modern technology, electronics that they have. Even cars now. As a matter of fact, I bought two cars from, uh, that are Korean cars. <laughs> I see. Yeah, yeah. I know. It, it is pretty amazing. Um, but it's still a divided country, you yes, know? Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, that should have never happened because we were already up to the Yellow River during, during the Korean War. Right. And then uh, finally they decided the president, which was true in that time, and General MacArthur, who was the army uh, in charge of all the armed forces in, in that country, was told to go back and establish the 38th parallel. Mm -hmm. And that's where we've been since then. Right. Uh, I feel sorry for the South Koreans that have family in North Korea because they can't come back. You know? Right, right. If there was some kind of like movement for there to be a reunification, would you support that? Heck yeah, yes I would. Because here they are, my age, some of the uh, older Korean uh, uh, fathers and grandfathers or whatever, probably not grandfathers because they were taken right there in 1950 when the war started, they were taken to North Korea, you know? Right, right. Yeah. To you, uh, what does, Having been involved in the Korean War, what does that mean to you in your life? Well, it means to me that we helped a country that needed help. And, and some, some of us didn't even know where Korea was at, you know? We just went and our leaders told us to go and we went. And that's... I think that's why the people of South Korea really appreciate for us to be there uh, helping them out to hold the country for them, you know, for them, for the South Korea. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, yeah. it's so many years ago, you know, you kind of think about it. Well, uh, would you do it again? I would. I would. Uh, yeah, I, I, and I think about it all the time, you know, I think about it all the time. And people ask me, he says, well, uh, why didn't you get out when the war was over? I said, because um, that was going to be my career. I, At that time, I thought about making the military my career. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, I thank you so much for your service. Well, I uh, was... thank you for what you do. Thank you for what you do, at least 
now some of the people that read it in, in books, that they get all the information from books here and there. You, like you say, you get it straight from somebody that was that been there right, and right. done that. Yeah. Right. I guess. Any closing final thoughts that you want to say to the camera before um, we conclude the interview? Any any message to the younger generations or even just your your own children? <laughs> well, you know, my younger generation that I talk to, I talk to many young Marines all the time. And they they honor me for doing what I did for the, our country and going to be in different wars and stuff like that. And to me, they are my heroes because they are doing exactly what I did and friends of mine did for their country. Yeah. And uh, uh, we want to keep... We want to keep this country free. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, yes. that's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time and participating in this interview. Well, thank you. Thank you for what you do. Thank I appreciate you. it very much. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay.